Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're going to discuss why demand for vacation homes is still strong. The pandemic created a tremendous interest in vacation homes across the country. Throughout last year, many people purchased second homes as a safe getaway from the challenges of the health crisis. With many professionals working from home and many students taking classes remotely, it made sense to see a migration away from the cities and into counties with more vacation destinations. The 2021 Vacation Home Counties report from the National Association of Realtors shows that this increase in vacation home sales continues in 2021. The report examines sales in counties where vacant seasonal occasional or recreational use housing account for at least 20% of the housing stock and compares that data to the overall residential market. Vacation home sales rose by 16.4% to 310,600 in 2020, outpacing the 5.6% growth in total existing home sales. Vacation home sales are up 57.2% year over year during January through April 2021, compared to the 20% year over year change in total existing home sales. Home prices rose more in vacation home counties. The median existing price rose by 14.2% in vacation home counties compared to 10.1% in non-vacation home counties. This coincides with data released by Zellman and Associates on the increase in sales of second homes throughout the country last year. As the data shows, there is still high demand for second getaway homes in 2021, even as the pandemic winds down. While we may see a rise in second home sellers as life returns to normal, ongoing low supply and high demand will continue to provide those sellers with a good return on their investment. Ladies and gents, let's get to the bottom line. If you're one of the many people who purchased a vacation home during the pandemic, you're likely wondering what it means for you. If you're considering selling that home as life returns to normal, you have options. There are still plenty of buyers in the market. If, on the other hand, you want to keep your second home and enjoy it, the current market conditions show that that's a good ongoing investment. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Real Deal. That's all we've got time for today. So as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.